Thank you for joining us here on uh, Mirror Now at this point in time. We begin with breaking news coming in on the broadcast. As far as the Supreme Court hearing on Article 370 is concerned, the Supreme Court has uh, wrapped up the center and the poll body and said that three elections are due in Jammu and Kashmir. The center doubles down on Ladakh, says the Ladakh will continue to be the Union territory, assures that Jammu and Kashmir elections will happen soon. But the center gives no time frame for restoring the statehood. My colleague Harish is joining us to help us with details. Harish, uh, we know that uh, the Supreme Court is hearing uh, many pleas uh, on uh, based on the Article 370 and now it has wrapped the centre and the poll body uh, calling for uh, the fact that three elections have been due in Jammu and Kashmir but the centre has doubled down on Ladakh saying that it will continue to be the Union territory and assured that Jammu and Kashmir elections will happen soon but there has been no time frame given. Yes, that's right. Uh, let me make it clear to the viewers that last time around, uh, during the last hearing, Supreme Court had asked uh, three questions uh, to the uh, center represented by Solicitor General Tushar Mehta that, number one, uh, do, does the parliament have the power to downgrade a state into a union territory? If so, what is the power? Number two, uh, uh, you, you say that uh, the statehood, uh, this uh, union territory status is temporary and statehood will be restored, then what is the time frame? And number three, when will you hold the elections, when will you direct election commission to start the democratic process in the state? So, uh, to, in response to that, Solicitor General Tushar Mehta today made very significant submissions that uh, the uh, situation has uh, almost uh, returned to normalcy and the centre is ready to hold elections and now the ball is in the court of the election commission of India. And uh, Solicitor General Tushar Mehta said that not only assembly elections, there are three elections to be held, that is panchayat elections, municipal elections and then the legislative assembly elections. At the same time, uh, the elections to the uh, Ladakh, uh, uh, lay, lay, uh, local body elections are complete now. Uh, elections have to be held to the Ladakh Hill Council and also Kargil. That will be held in September last uh, last week. So these are the assurances given and regarding the Supreme Court's main question as to by when the statehood will be restored to Jammu and Kashmir, the, the centre said that now a time frame cannot be given at this juncture because more, uh, more uh, things to be uh, need to be done to restore the normalcy in the uh, state. But as far as vis-a-vis -vis elections are concerned, uh, the, uh, there are several changes in the state after abrogation of Article 370 and uh, bifurcation of the state into uh, Jammu Kashmir and Ladakh. That is, there is a uh, uh, dip in the terrorist incidents and also there is a uh, quantum jump as far as investments in the state is concerned and also uh, inflow of tourists is concerned. There is also a dip quantum deep. In, in fact, a major uh, dip in the, as far as law and order problems are concerned and also lo, uh, pelting, stone pelting has also become, come down to zero level. So, uh, in fact, now this, uh, almost this, uh, the uh, peace, prosperity and stability has been restored in the state of Jammu Kashmir. Even the security situation has improved. So now the uh, time is conducive for holding of elections. Center is ready to hold elections in uh, Jammu Kashmir. Now it is up to the election commission of India. Right. So these were the uh, submissions made by the, uh, uh, the Solicitor General uh, Tushar Mehta who had appeared for the center. At the same time, Kapil Sibal who had appeared for one of the petitioners challenging the bifurcation of state to the two union territories and abrogation of Article 370 said that these factors should not be uh, considered by the Supreme Court and only constitutionality of the abrogation of Article 370 should be looked into. But Chief Justice uh, Diva Chandrachud at this juncture said that it is we who had posed these uh, questions uh, to the centre. Therefore, right. uh, the Solicitor General has to give these facts to uh, show us that uh, the state, the normalcy has been restored in the state and it's ready for uh, for the uh, assembly elections, not only assembly elections, but also panchayat election and municipality elections. Back to you.